Hey, what's up, man? Back again, huh? Um, I said I was gonna make a video on Friday, right? But um, I just couldn't wait, man. Uh, people been asking me for uh, more prison, prison stories. So I, you know, I decided why not give you one, one more, you know, one more, one more time for the mine. Yeah, I'm gonna give you one, a good one, man. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I've been saying on my videos that I don't play polit. I didn't, I didn't play politics, right? Uh, and I didn't. I didn't play the, um, what can I call it? What, how can I say this, man? It's, it's hard for you, if you have, for those of you who haven't been in prison, man, uh, it's, car, it's kind of hard, not hard to explain, but it's, how can I say, man? Uh, well, uh, there is politics, man, and you're gonna follow, you're gonna follow certain rules. You know, you're gonna follow certain rules. Even though, uh, you want to stay away from the bullshit. You can be a Christian, or you can do your program, but you gotta, you know, you gotta, you know, stay away from the bullshit. But at the same time, you uh, you pay attention what's around you to, to your surroundings, and um, and you have friends, man. You have friends. You make friends during, you know, uh, this time. So I just happened to, to have a few friends. A uh, paisa friend. Uh, one of my best friends was from. Uh, I'm, I'm from Jalisco, and one of my my, my, my two of my best friends were. Uh, from Jalisco también, because you know, we kind of played, you know, in a, in, a, in a way, in a certain way, we kind of, we, we, you know, like LA car, you know, how they run together, like San Diego car, they, you know, they, they, they do their own little thing that doesn't mean that, you know, they're not um, part of the um, uh, South Siders, uh, they are South Siders, but they, you know, they got their own little thing, you know, their own little uh, clique. It's the same way, the same way with the paisas, you know, we, uh, paisas from Michoacán, Jalisco, EDF, from La Baja, Baja California, uh, and, uh, like, certain states, they, they, they kick it together, so we, we paisas, and, like, in certain prisons, you know, we kick it together, paisas from Jalisco, and, uh, but we talk to each other, you know, but they do got their little trips, on they set trip, and, you know, and, uh, anywho, man, uh, it just happens that, um, you know, a lot of people been asking me, they, uh, when were you in, in Pelican Bay? When were, when were you? And I just gonna, you know, uh, I was, I was in Pelican Bay back in the nineties, early nineties, almost ninety when Pelican Bay was Pelican Bay. And I don't mean to, um, to be rude or, 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 but I was, I was, and I'm gonna mention a few, a, a few paisas, a few sureños, and a few norteños that were in, in woods, that were in the main line with me. Just to let you know, you know, because people has been around and they gonna fucking they 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 gonna they wanna they gonna wonder, I, you know, I, I, they, there's a lot of battles that know me, you know. Well, I'm gonna start off with the paisas, you know. There was a Tijuas, there was a Jaime from Guanatos, Juaritos, long hair, paisa Juaritos, and there was a, a, a paisa Pedro from from Jalisco, from Tala. Those those are the ones that I'm gonna name, right? The paisas. Southsiders, man. I, I I met Cowboy from Puente, Rape from Puente, uh, Diablo from Wilmas, uh, um, Osito from Diamantes, uh, Whisper from Playboys, Wacky from the Harpies, um, uh, uh, Sharky from Sanford. He was a good. He was he was my workout partner. A good dude, man. Hey, shout out to uh, Sharky. Um, uh, who else, man? Uh, a uh, pirata from uh, Florencia, uh, Ray from another Ray from Puente, um, and on this, um, what, you know, the Norteños. I met Cisco from I think he, from, he was from Stockton. I met Groupie from uh, uh, I think he was he was from Stockton or Salas. Gigi from Salas, uh, um, Toro from Sacra. I met this guy in in the, in the, in the, in the, in the hoyo in the, in the hall. Martin from I think he, he was from Sacra or, or Stockton. Good people, Martin. Hey, he, he shot me a shot of a coffee, Folgers. Well, anywho, man, uh, those are the you know the ones that I can you know mention, uh, remember right now. But uh, back mm, to my story when when I was in a uh, high desert, man. Uh, see, like I was saying, man. Uh, like I said, I didn't play politics, but at the same time, you know, when uh, some some of your friends fuck up, man. Prison is a fucking cold place, man. Prison is a cold fucking place. Let's say one of your uh, your, your 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 raw dog fucks up, you know, your best buddy, you, you, you tie tie, he fucks up, right? To paisano, your best friend, to compadre, and um, it looks bad if somebody else fucking stabbed that motherfucker. So you gotta do it, dog. 
He looks bad on you. Neta, serio, homes. You're gonna say how 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 it looks bad on you because uh, you don't want nobody else to touch your friend, dog. You wanna do it. You wanna do it. Because if you if you stand right there and see your friend getting stabbed and you don't do a motherfucker, it looks gonna it's gonna look bad on you. So it just happens that one of my best friends fucked up on it and I had to fucking I had to do it. Yeah, your boy had to do it, man. Um, didn't didn't feel good, but I didn't feel bad, dog. Because uh, this motherfucker was using. He was using fucking and. Uh, Besides, he was getting transferred, and um, he kissed her. That uh, some of the pipes of shit. He said he couldn't fucking, he couldn't uh, bring it out. He couldn't uh, shed it back out. And kissed her means that he put that shit in his fucking in his bottle. And um, I guess he, because he was already sprung on that shit, eh? and he was playing the part that he couldn't get it out. But he told the paisa that he was gonna pay. And the paisa, no, no. Um, shout out to my. Uh, that paisa también, he's from Jalisco, Pajarito, and Abola is from Sinaloa, and um, um, Sosa from Tijuana, eh? um, well, anywho, man, uh, um, so, so we had to do it, homes. and um, I told paisa, hey, paisa, hey, uh, the, and besides, he owed money to the Southsiders, and the Southsiders were already hitting the paisa, say, man, if you guys don't do it, we're going to do them, and I'm like, nah, hey, uh, 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 don't worry, man, uh, we got it. We got it. We're just gonna, cause he he, he was already getting transpacked, meaning that he was already transpacking, packing his fucking shit to move to another fucking prison. I think he was going to a level three. So, uh, 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 homeboy comes back from work and, and he and he tells me, hey, homeboy, say he didn't give me, cause he gave us like, like curfew. Hey, if he doesn't fucking bring out the money, come up with the money or the fucking the stuff, you know. We're gonna have to do them, because besides the Sureños are already fucking asking for this fool, man. So um, <clears throat> I told him, but yeah, don't worry about it, man. Uh, just um, um, give him the, you know, give him like certain time to call home, send the money, and if it doesn't arrive, if the money's not there when when he says, then just handle that shit, you know. So um, I'm just gonna, you know, uh, I'm, I'm gonna mention the, the CEO that was there, man, Tucker. Tucker, who was on the tower, Carson, she was at the floor officer that day, that night. Um, I left the, the door open. He, uh, 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 CEO kept telling me to close the door, and I didn't do it. I was like, nah, you know, I got some business to take care of. Not proud, you know. Back then, I was proud of it, but now, you know, you know, I feel like, you know, because, you know, that it, it, being honest, it wasn't even my shit. No? It was somebody else's fucking shit, you know. But anywho, man, I'm running out of fucking data. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this fucking story. So, curfew came, the tank came, Pisces didn't come out with the money, and I came out with a big old fucking piss, man. You know, now I feel sorry for this guy, man. I, you know, I got him good, you know? I got him. When I got him, man, I can see the fucking shirt, because, you know, sometimes, you know, do, like, I guess he already had a feeling that he was going to get, you know, handled, you know, handled, because, um, he was, you can, you can tell right away, you know? he was like, you know, um, on his guard. So I just came and got him once I seen the fucking shirt on the front, you know, like, uh, I can see the shirt moving. Like every time I hit him, boom, I seen the shirt moving. You know, meaning that I was going through his fucking whole body, man. That, that thing, it was a fucking bone crasher, man. That thing was fucking huge, man. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not proud of that shit, but I had to do it. Prison was a fucking cold place, man. He was my best friend, and I just had to do it, man, because he was my best friend. I had to do it because he was my best friend. Like I said, prison is is up and that's up. It is an upside fucking upside down fucking world, man. Uh, like uh, uh, like if you don't do your friend, somebody else is gonna do it, but you're gonna look like a punk. Don't.